Hi, I'm Bethany Maddox Sands and we are in Phoenix, Arizona. It is the off season, so you know what time it is. Time to be testing out some rackets. So, first one up, I'm gonna be testing out the new Head Speed MP for 2024. When I was testing out rackets the last couple years, the Old Speed MP was in the running. I actually really loved the feel of it and like the name suggests, it's a fast racket. I felt like I was able to get through the balls very quickly. I felt like my ball had speed on it. The only reason I didn't end up with this racket as my final decision was because I didn't feel like it had the heaviness that I wanted. So if you're looking for fast racket head speed, getting through your ground strokes fast, maybe you have a little bit bigger backswing and you don't want to get caught late, the speed is for you. I felt that my directional targets were really easy to make. Uh, I loved the racket in hand. This one actually feels a little bit heavier to me, although I was told it's exactly the same. So, that, and that's okay, it's only a couple points. Might offer a little bit more stability on contact uh, and offer a little bit more power. Uh, for me, this racket, I always hit my targets, but again, I wanted to get that extra oomph on it. So um, I'm excited to try it out, though obviously they didn't do too much with the cosmetics, not too much of a change there, but I'm gonna say this. The paint is matte, and I don't care what anyone says. For me, and I wanna say 98% of the pros out there, when they change the paint, there's always a different feeling, especially when they go from matte to glossy or vice versa. So, curious to see what this feels like today. Like I said, I really enjoyed the old Speed MP. Uh, it felt good, so my the strings that are in here are my tension. Uh, the way I like it, so I'll be able to give you a really good, honest review on what this feels like. Let's get out there. Ooh, that was a short, let me tell you something. You can tell a lot about a new racket by your feed. It's such a automatic shot and you always place your feed exactly in the right place. And so, when I feed the ball the first time with a new racket, I'll notice where it goes. So my first feed was low and short. So that means already in my mind, um, it doesn't have as much power as my racket. So just off the first feed, but here we go. Uh, it feels fast in the hand, right? Like I love the head grip. I feel like it's such a natural, um, grip for me on both my backhand and forehands. Uh, so it feels good in my hand, it's what I'm used to. But um, based on the first couple rallies, I, I'm missing short and I'm missing in the net. So that means I'm gonna have to change my swing, right? So now I, as a pro, know how to correct that. I just have to ask myself, is the racket worth me correcting my strokes? So now I'm gonna start lifting the ball a little bit more. So you might notice my stroke change. I can either decide if I like that stroke change. Maybe it is something that I need to do. Maybe I need to swing out and this racket helps me do that. Or I'm gonna have to be adjusting too much of my stroke around this racket. That's always what, that's what I'm thinking. The pros and the cons of what it is. So, so far the balls are short and I feel like it's, again, like the name, it's speed. It's going fast through. through. You can kind of counteract that by adding some weight and slowing it down. But I think that kind of, you miss the point then with this racket. The idea with this racket is that you can get the head through the ball really fast. So here we go. All right, I gotta swing up. <clears throat> no. <Nope>. Yep. <clears throat> it's not that I don't like the racket for my strokes and what I've been used to with the gravity that I'm playing, I'm getting a lot more power and a lot more lift. You can be really consistent with this racket and I feel like if you're hitting it flat, you actually will really like that. And if you struggle with hitting the ball late, you're also gonna love this racket because it really, I feel like I'm almost ahead of the ball a little bit. So this, this was the one drawback that I had when I was uh, play testing last year, but when it came down to the, um, the speed and uh, the gravity. The gravity just gave me a little bit more power based on how I hit the ball. I want a little bit of that heaviness, that smooth stroke feeling. Whereas this, if you're, again, if you're one of those players that likes to feel like you're ripping the ball and it still goes in, this Speed MP is gonna be for you. If you're that player that you feel like you're catching the ball late, this racket's gonna be for you. So that's my honest review right here. 
feels good in the hands. Head grip is still one of my favorites. Uh, I like it above uh, all the other racket manufacturers. This is my string um, setup that I use. So really the only difference was everything uh, in the head and the handle. And that was my review of the new Head Speed MP 2024. Head to tenniswarehouse.com for more reviews. <laughs>